first, let's send these guys off in a whole different direction. Let's go this direction right here. Alright. I gotta build something new. I'm going to build monuments. That will increase my culture output. And let me expand my borders quicker. You can only work tiles that are inside your borders. Uh, and if I want to get that cotton, I need to expand my borders out to grab that cotton tile so I can start working that that tile. And in one turn, I'll get a second uh, population point to work a second tile. And the Jaguar, let's get them over here and encounter Belgrade. Belgrade is a city-state. City-states are neutral to begin with, with everybody. And they don't have a, they don't have aspirations to to win the game. That's not their goal. Their goal is to just sort of be there, providing some interesting conflict um, and alliances between you and them and you and other cities, uh, other civs. When you first encounter, if you were the first to encounter City State, they give you 30 gold. All right, these guys are militaristic, which means if they are my allies or my friends, they will periodically pop out a free military unit for me. And they're friendly which means they make requests uh, along the lines of building wonders or constructing a road that leads to them. These things make them happy. And, uh, and the ha happiness with the city-state promotes an alliance. Okay. They also have ivory next to them. That's that horse we saw, or the elephant we saw earlier. So if I do become al allies with them, I will get a copy of their ivory for my own use. Alright, so let's take a look at what happens next turn. Alright, so here's a notification. All the notifications pop up along the side of the screen. It's very handy. This one is just letting me know that the capital city of Tenochtitlan has grown to food, or to two citizens. I'm going to right click and dismiss that and keep exploring. Alright, off we go. Let's go down here. Oh, a barbarian tribe. Barbarians, um. We did, put, we did pick Raging Barbarians, and I just remembered that. We should probably make sure, once this monument gets built, that we build a warrior to protect our starting city. Or this will be a really quick, short look. Uh, really quick, quick look. Alright, so here's a Barbarian encampment popped up, and some Ancient Ruins. The Ancient Ruins are going to be a, a, um, a goody hut. So they're going to have some stuff in them we're going to want to explore and see if they can promote our units for us, or provide us with gold, or a map, or a free technology even. Not its mineral right. Speaking of technology, my mining uh, research paid off. Let's keep exploring with my scouts. Ooh, I found my second city-state. These guys, uh, and I'm the first one to get them, so I got 30 more gold. These guys are a maritime, which means that if I befriend them, I get bonus food from my other cities, making them grow in population faster. Very desirable. However, they're a hostile personality, which means my influence with them will drop more quickly than normal. Influence with the city-state always deteriorates over time, slowly, but a hostile city-state deteriorates quickly. They have cotton, which I'm going to have access to, but the maritime bonus is uh, very beneficial. It's unfortunate that they happen to be hostile, though. Next up, let's research animal husbandry, as the researching of it not only lets us build pastures, um, and if I grab these deer up here at some point, oh, that's trapping. Well, the biggest thing about animal husbandry is it reveals horses on the map. And horses are a strategic resource used for some decent, decent uh, uh, military units, horsemen, knights. All right, let's take a look what we got here with these brutes. All right, I'm going to attack these guys. And if I do, you can see down here the odds of success. I will approximately inflict seven damage. All units have 10 health. Doesn't matter what era you're in, 10 health is what every military unit has. I will deal 7 damage to them, and they will deal 4 back to me. Um, and I'm getting a bonus against Barbarians, and they are getting a bonus because they're fortified in their little fort there. So let's just attack them and take them. Get them, guys! Ooh, we did really good there. We did 8 damage instead of 7. We'll clear that out next turn and get a bonus culture thanks to it. All right, let's keep moving on with my scouts. I'm trying to find some more runes. All right, here we go. I'm going to easily easily take them out. They're going to do three damage back to me, but being jaguar, they should heal a little bit after the fight's over. 
All right, get him, boys. Yes. All right, got 16 gold from uh, conquering them. They earned a promotion for all the fighting they did. Um, I could make them heal instantly, but since there's nothing around them to threaten them, it's beneficial to give them a promotion. They can either have a bonus to their combat strength if they're fighting in rough terrain, like hills or forests, jungles, or a bonus if they're fighting in open terrain, such as plains or desert. There's a lot of, I see a lot of plains in this area they happen to be in right now, so I'm going to give them the shock bonus there. I did get a little bit of culture, not a lot, but a little bit. It's nice, a little bonus. Alright, let's end the turn here and see what else we can do. Okay, let's let's go over here and get this rune. These runes. There's silver up here. What else is around the silver? It's a fairly resource resource rich area right up here. That might be a there's cotton, bananas, silver, another cotton, some cattle. This is all good stuff. I should probably think about getting a city built up here. I see a river right there too. I try to build my second warrior all uh or Jaguar unit. I think I'll what else we got up here? Yeah, there's a river right there. That's good. That's a good place for a city. What does these ancient ruins hold for us? Ooh, free technology. Pottery. Clay, say to him. We can build the granary with pottery. That helps our cities grow. Ooh, I see uh, a border of another civilization near us. Alright, let's let's go up here and uh, keep on. Ooh, there's Delhi. And here's Gandhi. Bhartiya Janta ki or se mein aapki or dosti ka haat padata hoon. The leaders will actually all speak in their native tongues. It's very interesting. Uh, I doubt we have anything to trade early in the game. We don't have a whole lot. We can offer open borders. But that would be silly. Um, I don't want him walking through my... I only have one city, but I don't, I don't want him like standing on top of my stuff. Um, looks like I got more money than him, for now. Alright. We will say goodbye to Gani for now, and see who this is. Russia. Приветствую тебя, незнакомец. Если твой ум и такт сравнимы с твоей привлекательностью, мы замечательно поладим. All right, well, that's good. Good to know. Thanks for that. Thanks for that. All right, so I got yes, I have more gold than she. I'm I'm doing good money wise, but uh, we have nothing to trade. No one's built any workers yet. Probably I haven't built my, my worker yet. To start building tile improvements, like pasture.